In this short segment, we're going to demonstrate the ease of terminating our LMR 1700 cable with a standard end male easy connector. It should be our easy 1700 NMH connector. First thing we'll do is disassemble the connector and lay out the various pieces. The back nut of the connector, the O-ring, gland washer, the knurled collar, spring finger pin, and the front of the connector body. The first step, which is very important, is you want a nice square flush cut to the cable. Starting from that point, the next thing we'll do is we'll take the back nut, slide that onto the cable, take the O-ring, slide that over the cable, and work it back. We'll now take the strip tool, ST1700 clamp strip tool, place it over the cable, and with a gentle turning motion, strip away the jacket. Continue to turn the tool until it spins freely, like so. At that point, back the tool off of the cable. Now take the gland washer and take the larger side of the gland washer and place that towards the cable, over the cable, over the braid, like so. You now want to take the braid and just get it started and pull it back away from the shield. And this being DB cable, once you get it started, it'll be almost like a hinge and just it'll just fold away from the shield. Okay, after you've got that completed, the next thing you do is you take the collar, the neural collar, take the smaller diameter end of the neural collar and place that right over the shield, like so until it stops. You now take the spring finger contact, place the spring part of it into the center conductor. Now you may need a little extra force to put that in and I'd recommend taking the back end of the deburring tool, the wooden end, and you don't want to hammer on the pin but you just gently place it up against the pin and give it a little extra push. That's the spring finger snapping into the center conductor. At this point you want to take the o-ring, roll the o-ring back up until it butts up against the gland washer, take the back part of the connector, back nut, bring that all the way up forward. You now take the front half of the connector, place it over the pin, like so. As you continue to push up on the back nut, begin to turn and to screw the two halves of the connector body together. Once you get it done together, you want to take two two-inch wrenches, Place them on the flats on the, on the connector. And just uh, torque that connection down, the connector down, until you, until you compress the uh, O-ring somewhat, like so. At this point, you have a complete watertight seal, and you have a, you're, you've completed your uh, termination process. You have a, a watertight seal between two connector halves. The O-ring is compressed. You have an O-ring which you applied earlier to the back half of the connector body. And you have a gasket on your interface. So you complete watertight seal. And this is the final product.